What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Knives of the Round Table. My name is Marco and this time we're going to be taking a look at the Warrior 2 version 3 by Leong Ma. Now Leong Ma is a designer working out of the United States and he has most of the most of his designs I believe are manufactured by Riyadh Knives. I'm not sure if if he does custom work I haven't seen any of his custom knives. Uh, that doesn't mean that they don't exist. It's just, I, I, I haven't seen it, you know, like kind of Enrique Pena, you know, he has his knives manufactured by Riyadh, but uh, he has a, a custom knives that he does on his own. Um, but today we're gonna be taking a look at this, at, 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 his, at this knife, the Warrior Two version three. And, you know, he, uh, Leong Ma, he has, I don't know, like six or seven knives in his lineup right now. And this one really, really appealed to me. The, it has like these, it's kind of like a small katana <laughs> looking thing. Uh, it has a Japanese uh, uh, kind of tanto blade with this beautiful hollow grind here. I don't know if you can tell. And then you've got uh, a compound flat with this beautiful switch that starts like roll the way over here and then a folder. The design is really, really attractive. But before we get uh, into it too much further, let me do some size comparisons here. Uh, this is against the full size bug out. And here you have against the mini bug out. So it's not a small knife. I, I believe it's a three and a half inch blade. And if I can find my ruler, if I can find my ruler, I can tell you. Yeah, a little bit over three and a half inches. Um, so it's not a it's not a small blade. It's it's a decent sized blade, but um, it actually carries fairly well in the pocket. Let me show you compared to the to the to the bug out here. So obviously it's a, it's a larger handle. But in terms, in terms of, of how big it carries in the pocket, it's not that much different from the from, from the bug out. It's thicker, but it, it's probably an apt comparison because the this this knife carries uh, really nice in the pocket. If you want, if you like knives that kind of you know kind of melt in your pocket and you don't you don't you don't kind of feel them in there, then this is this is a good knife for you. Uh, comparing it to the para 3 and the para 2. So in terms of size, uh, the the para 2 is probably the, the the closest. They probably have they have very similar lengths, uh, probably identical lengths. But again, because of the of the handle to blade ratio, it has a, a far larger sharpened length on the on the warrior 2. And it carries a lot better than than the pair two here. I'll show you. You see, in terms of the of the height of the, you can see that the that the pair two just you know it carries a lot a lot thicker. So so the the Warrior two uh, carries extremely well. Now it's called the Warrior two version three. I. I don't know if the of a warrior one, and I don't know if a warrior two version one or two. Uh, you know, I, I just haven't seen it. Maybe maybe it happened before uh, before I got into 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 knife into knives uh, before I started collecting. Uh, but you know, it's uh, it's a really good it's a really good design. Now, uh, ergonomics are. Okay, they are decent ergonomics. The you know when you have neutral handles, it's it's meant to to fill the to the most amount of hands, right? But because it's a neutral handle, you know you get you do get this this thumb groove right here that kind of guides your hand to where it should be, and in that grip, in a saber grip, is probably the best, you know. But you don't get a lot of the ergonomics in the back because it's a, it's a neutral handle. Now what that means is that you're gonna be able to hold this knife in a variety of grips, in just in a saber grip, hammer grip, or draw cuts, whatever you wanna do with it, you're probably gonna be able to do it. But you know, it's 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 decent in 
in, in what I would call the important grips, you know, in a hammer grip and in a saber grip, it's it's very decent in in, in those. Nothing, uh, I would say that the ergonomics on the on 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 the pair two are much better. You know, with this, it, it just feels your hand a little bit better. Uh, but it's a neutral handle is is more versatile, so so you have that. Now, as far as the action goes. Uh, you know, Riyadh is doing work for so many knife makers uh, nowadays, and it feels like they've, that they really honed their craft. The quality of knives that they're putting out, the fit and finish, and especially the action, they just dialed it in such that it deploys so nice. And then the action is just this drop controlled action that is so smooth. And it's so good that you know they're, they're they're becoming one of the standards on you know on on the action on knives and it's just it's just amazing you know there's this there's this uh, mindset that all Chinese made things are you know are are poorly made but uh, you know I, I just think you know that Riyadh is putting out just incredible quality stuff i have i have several of their knives and i have a lot of you know i have some custom knives i have a lot of high-end production knives and and ria just does really really good work you know the fit and finish as i said it's it's incredibly good this this one is uh, a metal complex called, calls it a bolster lock so i'm just gonna uh, i'm just gonna adopt the term I, i'm not sure if that's the, the the i don't know who who who's the authority on it but it's it's where you have this kind of liner that or this overlay that overlaps the frame, and then this the log just kind of comes out. So you have this cutout here uh, for for the you know to reduce the tension on the lock bar, and the action makes it super super good. Now the only problem is that it's hard to get in here you know they do have a little bit of a cutout right there but it's it, you you kind of have to put your finger try to dig your finger in to push it out I wish that they'd cut out a little bit more on this side so that the access to the to the lock bar would be easy would be easier uh, you do have uh, an over travel stop and a, and, a, uh, and a lock bar uh, insert uh, to to help with to help with durability and I think for cutting you know it's 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 very good for some cuts you have this hollow ground that comes out to a to a really nice edge here but it is a thick stock so as soon as you get to the to up here you know when you cut you get the cardboard and it's kind of thin and, and slices really well and then you get to the to the wedge part of it so for some shallow cuts I think it's it's really really good and then for the rest it's just adequate it's it's not the sliciest knife you'll find in the world uh, but it's it's probably gonna do everything that most people need it to do in you know in everyday carry now the airing of grievances oh I, I didn't mention it, it it's m390 a lot of the Riyadh made knives are are m390 it's a titanium uh, titanium frame with this carbon fiber overlays now you can find it in a lot of different variants I think they have there's one that's full titanium there's one that uh, there's two variants of micarta so you can get those uh, from you can get them from Leong Ma himself and uh, you can get them from from several dealers one of the things that I really, really like is the pivot, uh, the the this shield shape of the pivot here. It makes it both that it's not free spinning, right? Because you got this this shield shape, but it's it's I think it's really attractive. And on this side, well, you need it to spin, but he incorporated the shield uh, in the knife as well. So I think I think that's a really, really nice touch. Uh, finally, uh, the airing of grievances. Uh, my biggest or my only grievance is the clip. I think, you know, for everything that I really like about this knife, I like the blade, I like, you know, the ergonomics are decent, the action is so good, but the clip, I think, needs, 
needs to be scrapped and started over. And there's a couple of reasons for that. The, the, the ramp going in, it's too shallow. The, the angle of the, of the ramp is just too shallow. So it, it's hard to get in the pocket. Now going out, it's a little bit uh, easier uh, because it's, but the tension is so, so high that it kind of destroys your pocket going in and going out. And the other thing, and I think the worst thing is that it comes to this ridiculous point that is so sharp, you know, it, 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 it scratches even when I just go like this. So everything that you get near, it, it just, it, 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 you know, my wife has, you know, passed her hand close to my pocket and has scratched herself. And I think this, this point needs to be far more round and, you know, it, you know, the, the corner has to be, you know, done a lot, a lot better. I think, uh, you know, out of everything that's good in this knife, I think the clip needs to be kind of scrapped and, you know, start over. Uh, it's, it's really well integrated here uh, into the knife. You can see, I don't know if you can tell, there's like a little cutout where, it, you know, you can almost not see it, which is, which speaks to the quality of manufacture. So it's, it's, it's really well placed and it's uh, well manufactured. It's just the design out here is just, is just not good. I would really recommend the knife. Uh, I think it goes, uh, it, it carries well in the pocket. You know, it, it you, you, you don't feel like, like you have a, a, a huge knife. The, the grind lines that, that Riyadh does on the, on the knife are just amazing. I think the design is really good. Uh, other than the clip, I think there's, there's a lot of positives here. So, uh, I, I think if you, if you enjoyed this design, if you want a smaller version of this, the, there's a, the, the Lanny, the, the previous version of the Lanny, which I think you can still find, has a shorter blade. And, you know, in retrospect, maybe that's the one that I should have gotten because I usually try to stay three and a half inch maximum. But if you want, you know, something with a shorter blade, the Lanny, uh, the previous version, because the new version doesn't have the compound grind, which I find just so attractive. But the, the, the old version you can still find, and it has that same grind in a, in a smaller, in a smaller knife. Uh, overall, I think Leo Matt does really good uh, design uh, and really good work, and especially working with Riyadh, the action, man, I, you know, it, the action on Riyadh is just one of those that you really need to uh, experience, uh, even if even if you decide that you don't want to, you know, uh, get a Chinese knife, but at least get one in your hand so that you know kind of what you in reality what you're missing out really but anyways if you like the knife if you like the the knife if you like the video uh, like subscribe and until you see you again take care guys